The massive car bomb ripped the front out of Jakarta's Marriott Hotel on August the 5th. The hotel was a frequent venue for U.S. embassy functions and a popular place for foreigners. Twelve people were killed and nearly 150 injured. Indonesian police now say they're holding nine people involved in the bombing. Six of the suspects were apparently arrested before the bombing, but confessed afterwards to having helped plan and finance it. The other three were picked up in the days after the attack on suspicion of transporting the bomb. The police blame the attack on Jemaah Islamiyah, an Islamic group also accused of the Bali bombing. They say the hotel was chosen for its U.S. connections. Uh, American interests. Their targets are American Karena interests. Kan itu, ya? This was Dan also said in the Bali bomb trials. The two bombings are nah, related. The suspects have confessed this. Uh, inilah. The Indonesians also said they were investigating whether the bombing was financed by the Al-Qaeda operative known as Hambali, who was arrested last week. Ada. Ini kita masih cross-check. Bahwa ada dana. We're cross-checking if there was a fund in the amount of 45,000 US dollars Hambali sent by Hambali last June Juni. to carry out bombings Sebanyak in Indonesia. We're investigating whether this fund was used to carry out the bombing at the Marriott. The fund was sent from Thailand via a Malaysian citizen. But other key suspects in the attack remain at large. They include three men, two Malaysians and an Indonesian, who've been described as the masterminds behind it.